This multiverse needs you. I need you. Whose voice is that? Now I remember. I was murdered. Come on. Don't die purple Osaru. Someone is calling me. I feel a lot of pain. That means I'm still alive. It's true. I need the power of the Akari. I can't give up yet. The Divine Sect. I'm going to shut it down for making me suffer like this. A great power began to fill Goku's body and the shattered parts were coming together again. The warm Kidachi had revived him. The master's power is increasing. You have done quite well Divine Law. You have saved Daruma. You can now stop passing the energy. Kai stopped kissing Goku and his breathing looked exhausted. Only a moment passed, but she had given almost all of her power to him to save him. Hey, you're too impulsive. You left your key veins empty, right? Does matters? The important thing is that I managed to save him. My key veins empty? That's nothing. I would have even given my life. I recover key quickly. So don't worry, Osaru. I'll be on the lookout if he needs me again. She began to float while he was meditating to accumulate power again. The ability to be reborn from the ashes of the phoenix was supreme. Goku in there stood up and screamed, I feel a great power that is burning me. Get ready to imitate your mom, because I'm going to destroy you. This power, she must have been at its limit to give me this opportunity. I will not let your efforts be in vain, increased 50 times. What an annoying boy. You would have fallen asleep forever. All that suffering would be forgotten forever. To forget everything? That's cowardly. Vados was brutally attacked. The power and speed of that Goku was much greater than before, since he temporarily had the powers that she had used on him. A quick fight began, where Goku was now the one who dominated that environment. After all, he had a higher level now. Disappears. Flash of death. Goku's palm formed a large dark scythe splitting into two halves. Barrow's body began to disappear and Stardust began to illuminate that place. The barrier from before had disappeared. The stars of Quinternus formed a path. Now 14 stars were filled with great power. Is this a bit of the power that Akari provides? Damn, Saru, you should have taught me this power from the beginning. Those guys would have been exterminated by now. But I don't blame you, mate. You must have had your reasons for not showing it to me. Now I will follow this path. I will not stop until I reach the seven star paths. Out of there, a huge sigh came from the armor. You have passed the first stage master. This time I thought you would not stay alive, all thanks to her. I do not understand human feelings, since I am a beast. But I suppose you were important in her life, as is destiny. At first she wanted to kill you. I'm calm now, master. If one day I'm not there to protect you, I know that you have good companions who will never leave you alone. A long time passed, so much so that she had recovered all his power, but Goku was still stable, he didn't seem to care about anything after much longer, without knowing the exact time, since that room did not respect time. Oh Saru, this doesn't seem normal to me. You said you would let me know when he needed my help, but many days have passed. You haven't fallen asleep, have you? You care a lot about him. That's good, but calm down. This is normal. Reaching the top of each path is very difficult. The distance seems infinite, which is why the power generated with each star formation is gigantic. I've been moving forward for a long time, have I gotten lost? Saru brought me to the first path, but he didn't tell me what I should do after passing that barrier. Of course, it's another challenge, that's why he didn't tell me. It took Goku a couple of years to reach the next barrier. Goku quite upset since he thought he was on an endless path, managed to perceive the enormous amount of key pressure that was on the other side. Saru was right. The power that I now have is too much, and behind those barriers, hides a power that I never imagined I would have. But to achieve my goals, I'm going to connect the 49 stars and use the forbidden power Akari. No matter who gets in my way or what blessing I use, I will surely crush them. A woman approached without him realizing and hugged him from behind quickly touching his neck to realize that Nin was the one next to him. Dear Goku, you have finally arrived. I have been waiting for you for a long time, I have been so alone. Goku's heart raced as he felt a sinister power in that Nin. I was so alone and you have been accompanied by another woman. You seemed too happy when she kissed you. Don't you feel remorse, my Goku? Nin began to squeeze Goku with overwhelming force, the bones in his body breaking from so much pressure. Damn NEA. What the hell are you talking about? I know you're not the real one, but I don't want to hurt you. 
Do you think so much about that divine law that you dare to say that I am not real? I knew it, you are just like all men. I should have killed you that day you arrived on my planet. Impossible. Sounds like her. The star paths were affecting the subject's mind, so the more he advanced in stars, although he knew it was not the true one, part of his brain said the opposite. Simply put, his willpower was the most important thing when braving the hard path to achieve Akari. I'm not real? Is this pain fake, baby? Goku's scream stunned that place, and his real body was bleeding from his nose and ears. Excellent. He was still alive, but it seems that he is fighting again, his body is receiving wounds once again. Important thing is that he reached the next barrier. Getsuga used five years of his life to reach that stage. Daruma has achieved it faster, but the higher levels will be more complex. I'm afraid that we will spend many years in here, that's why I told the master to use this place, or time is in his favor. I'm sorry for putting you in this lonely place, Divine Law. It was not your duty to be with the Master. It would have been better to bring someone from his family. But since you are very strong, I thought you were the perfect candidate to help him. Oh Saru, thank you for choosing me. It's not a bother to me, on the contrary, it's good that I can be taking care of him. The Master's opponent this time will be formidable. He will surely need your power once again. Leave it in my hands. Why are you screaming if I'm giving you my affection? I hugged you with all my strength. You didn't scream like that when that woman was so close to you. You're not mean. You're sick in the head. With a lot of effort, she opened her mouth to launch a beam of energy that would cause a huge explosion and the shockwave would make Anie freeze. To get away from there, while his body was healing, he was relaxing his mind to dare to fight with that loved one for him. Do you remember when you came to my planet? You asked me to train you. You told me you would become strong to protect me. Now you are a little strong, but wanting to take my life crosses your mind. I see that you are a man who does not keep his promises. Goku remembered the past, indeed, he had said that to Nin, his entire being felt confused, with simple words he was losing. Overcoming that entire path required not only strength, but also wisdom. Enough Nin, get out my way. I do not want to fight with you. What's wrong with you coward? If you think that way, you are on the wrong path. Let me end your life and sink into eternal sleep. A gigantic attack of pure murderous energy came out of one of Sachika's palms. That energy was stopped by a wave of power from Goku. Finding himself outmatched, he found it necessary to escape, creating replicas of himself with his purple eyes. It will be difficult for me to face her. I'm sure there must be another method to get through, and that method is by turning that barrier into a million pieces. At super speed, he lunged at the barrier, while Kanin was distracted by his retorts. But after using the flash of death with that wall of key, his body was cut into pieces. Poor Migoku, he has received the punishment of being a coward. When you turn your back on the enemy, something similar to this always happens. Now, how am I going to hold you in my arms if you've turned into minced meat? Quick divine law, give it energy. I don't know what happens in there, but the master must have made it forbidden and it is trying to open a star path by force, without having first defeated his opponent. Chi pressed his body against Goku's, doing the same thing as the first time, kissing him to pass on all the power he had gathered. Don't be stupid again, master. What you did was very cowardly. Escaping from the enemy is not correct if it were not for the fact that I protect you and this woman gives you a great amount of power. Your soul would have already been burned. That stupid divine law, I would like it to be within my reach to return it to cosmic dust. Goku regenerated and looked very angry at Nin. You asked for it. It will hurt me more than it will hurt you, but forgive me Nin. Magnified 50 times. Wrath of the Devil. Kaioken. Goku disappeared quickly. He was moving quickly through that space to surprise his enemy with a deadly attack. No matter how fast you are darling, you won't be able to hide forever. I know exactly where you're going to attack. Suddenly, Nin turned his entire body, stopping Goku's murderous energy filled fist with one hand. Very predictable. I knew you would attack my heart to not make me suffer. It's obvious that you adore me, my Goku, but that will take you to your grave. Killer domain. That girl had Nin's appearance, but Goku's techniques. That was quite normal. After all, every particle in there was a part of him. Mean, he doesn't know how to use the killing domain. Curse. How stupid I am. For a moment I forgot that she would never try to kill me. 
The truth is that the further I go along these star paths, my mind is losing control. Goku. It feels good to sleep forever. Open your eyes. Why do you want to live in this rotten world? The guy who plans the annihilation of everything will always appear. Yes, and that's how I learned to value life. I'm not ready to die yet. Domain of Death. Goku's key formed a gigantic dark side that was part of the power that Shia had passed on. I can't copy that power since that bitch lent it to her. Well Goku, I admit that you are intelligent. You have stopped using your own techniques to use hers. Not bad, but you will not be able to go through this path because I am still your wife, your dear Neem. You will not be able to end my life. This is the end for you. Back Syed was heading straight for Neem. But when he was close to passing through it, he stopped. That was close. I knew you didn't have what it took to move on to the next stage. If you do not have enough courage to finish off your enemy, you are not worthy of this power. A powerful blow hit Goku's stomach. That blow made him kneel and a kick made him fall almost unconscious. NEA picked him up and carried him in her arms. I will stay here with you forever. Just relax. When your original body falls asleep, you won't worry about anything else. There will only be you and me together in this world. Goku's mind became completely clouded. He seemed to be manipulated. Yes, Neen, I will stay in this world with you forever. Outside of there, the original was already almost asleep. Kai continued giving him energy, but what was happening was not due to lack of power, but because his brain was recognizing defeat. Since Goku had lost all desire to move forward, he just wanted to. To be within that space together with that woman, my power is reaching him, but it's of no use. Ozaru, tell me what I should do. Stop passing the energy, we have failed. Master Daruma has chosen to abandon everything and plunge into eternal sleep. His enemy must have made him feel that this false world was perfect to live in. We can't do anything anymore. Once you have fallen, you are no longer able to wake up. Apparently, this is the end for me too. Don't say that. There must be a way to make him come back. Unfortunately there isn't. If it were easy to take this risk, how many Akari users would wander the multiverse? But I've only met one and that was Getsuga. His son had high hopes of being the second, but he was not ready yet. His mind was not strong enough. Don't waste your time in this empty place. Get out of this room and support your family in the fight that is coming with those divine laws. I am not going to do it. I will stay here forever if necessary. Osaru, he has been someone who was able to live up to a divine law, eternal sleep. I bet my life that is not enough to stop the strongest warrior I have ever known. That trust, master, you are a great shadow that has always protected these multiverses. You are such a powerful existence that exists in this world. She is right, the chances are less than 10%, but I will try to replace my soul with yours, although that would bother me. Takes thousands of years. Like a beast I will be reborn again. But perhaps in this life we will never see each other again, Master, so perhaps this is the end of your spirit beast. It was good to have been by your side. Saru from that moment began to accumulate power and strengthen his soul to save Daruma. Time passed quickly inside that room and outside of it barely a night had passed. When Goku's family woke up in the morning, they were surprised to not see him on the planet. Hey, where's my brother? I can't sense his key. I don't know either, he didn't spend the night at home. He must have stayed training on a planet far from here. Goku seemed angry at not being able to win over his emotions. It is very likely that he hid his key to train alone. Wait, where is she? She is also not present and I cannot feel her dark energy. Those two idiots, have they gone alone because of the other divine laws? He always tries to protect us, it may be a possibility. In the divine sect, Shimezu, after hours of remaining asleep due to the effect of Goku's mental power, had finally awakened. It's about time, you had a good rest Shimezu. Forgive me Getsugasama, I was completely defeated. The energy of the Arupur Paraichi has disappeared while you were sleeping. That was very sudden, it is very unlikely, but if that guy took his own life and Shikoria with the same fate, we are in serious trouble. We need all the blessings and body of that Osaru to prepare for war. That guy was very strong, a person with such a high level, why would he take his life? All of his power cultivation would be lost, no warrior would dare to do that, not even him. Shimezu, send General Heavy to find out what happened to our Osaru. Are you sure about that sir? Remember that Heavy is very violent, he can cause a big ruckus in the multiverse. 
In these cases, I should go personally, but the other sects must not find out that I am preparing for war. It is better for them to continue believing that the sect leader has perished, so sending high-ranking divine laws is the best alternative. I understand Getsugasama, I will send Heavy to that planet, using his telepathic power he communicated with him. Heavy, our leader has a special mission for you. How long, Shimezu, are you still under the protection of the leader? Remember that you have a pending fight with me. I hope that when you return from the mission you show your cowardly face. You won't escape like last time. Stop saying stupid things. The war is approaching. Don't we have time to have internal fights? Yes, those are the words of a coward. Anyway, you're lucky to be the leader's right-hand man. He is the only one who has my respect. If it were up to me, you would already be dead. Get out of my mind. If you're going to tell me something, tell me straight. That divine law shattered Shimizu's telepathic ability, and he went to his planet, heading to Goku's planet. That guy is a nuisance, he didn't even let me tell him where he should go. It seems like he's on the right path. He must have realized that Kai was there, he was interested in her, but I can't believe he's still so angry with me. Zeus saved me that time, otherwise that lunatic would have killed me. The planets through which that fast flash passed exploded when they were affected by the great power it gave off. Just wait she, I'm coming for you. You must be my woman. Several days passed on Kana's planet and Goku still did not show up. That was already starting to worry everyone. They thought that something bad had happened to him, and that was correct. At that time, Goku was dead. Hey, what if my father was defeated by the Divine Sect? No, that can't be. My brother wouldn't lose so easily to them, I'm sure he's fine. I have a lot of confidence in my brother's powers. A great pressure of ki fell on that planet, which began to fill with lava and was about to explode. What a formidable planet, it is able to withstand my power without exploding quickly. What do we have here? A few mosquitoes that have not been exterminated. I don't see my wife anywhere. Where are they keeping her prisoner? That guy is a divine law, but his level of strength is much higher than that of hatred. And what the hell is he talking about? What's going on? Has my presence taken away their ability to speak? Or are they so scared that their tongue is stuck? Damned. You are the one to blame for the disappearance of Goku and Kai. What have you done with them? Why is it impossible for you to have killed him? Look, little guy, don't change the subject. Before you die, tell me where Kai, the beautiful divine law of death, is imprisoned. Do you think I'm going to tell you this in the nicest way? Despicable subject. You're not even worth being killed. A great force of gravity fell on all of them, their bodies had become thousands of times heavier. Pay attention. This guy has the power to control gravity, you're not coming to my planet to cause this kind of ruckus. Creator Goddess, your damn race appeared in the last war, that's why I felt this planet was special, but I can see that your power is still sealed. I have no reason to fear a single Creator Goddess. Apparently, she is not on this planet. It was unpleasant enough for me to have a conversation with you. Astonishment of the world. The sky turned dark and 99 arrows of keys suddenly appeared completely surrounding everyone who inhabited that planet. We have to receive that attack, we take care of it. Die. The arrows shot out at great speed. Akame and Yakina exchanged glances. Osaro's protection two huge beasts in the form of Ki began to receive all that devastating attack. Because they had greatly increased their powers in that room, they had managed to withstand an attack of that level. Spiritual beasts, your world was destroyed. I see that there were still beings of that race contaminating other universes. Those who rot this multiverse are you garbage from the Divine Sect. We are going to get the truth from you about my brother's whereabouts. Akame and Yukina both rushed together against that Divine Law, but a punch and a kick were stopped as if nothing had happened by him. He has great physical strength. The others also released their key to help those two to fight. When a great force of gravity fell once again on everyone, Yukina and Akame who were floating, fell due to so much weight on their bodies. That's not a technique, it's the blessing of that guy. You know the blessings, in fact, my total gravity blessing. It is my wonderful supreme power, but since you know so much about our sect, I have no more doubts. You have hidden she, I will only leave one alive, the others are not needed. Where have you gotten yourself right now Goku? In the space-time realm of that planet, Saru had almost reached his limit to be able to do the soul transfer. Are you still there, Saru? I hope so, I have a suggestion. You are very rare, Divine Law. 
You have been observing a subject who is almost dead for many years, and you are too calm. Are you so grateful to the master because he saved you from dying? You would never understand, the feelings I feel for him are different. Being a bearer of a dangerous blessing, I was always estranged from my sect, but after meeting the purple Osaru, everything changed for me. At first I felt like killing him, but then all that changed to a warm feeling that makes me feel very good. It's something that I don't even know how to explain, I just know that protecting him is everything to me. You are his combat partner, thanks to you he can demonstrate great explosive power. If you disappear, you would stop being the Ozaru that everyone fears. I thought I had made it clear, Daruma is now dead in life, it is my life or his, my soul for his, and I prefer my master to live. You are wrong, they are not just two paths, because I am here, I can create a third path. The blessing of death is a supreme one, almost at the level of a general. You know why? Because it consumes the power and soul of its enemies. My soul is extremely powerful, and if I give part of my soul to him, I will not die. After all, there are countless souls I possess. That? Are you serious? Would you give part of your soul to save the master? Still asking? Of course. Come on, tell me what I should do. Saru thought, what idiot would give his soul to save a guy he just met? This woman is very strange. Perhaps she wants to find a way to consume Daruma's soul, but I can't perceive any bad intentions in her eyes. Or Saru hurry up, while he sleeps and we waste time, who knows what could be happening outside of here. Curse, but what am I thinking? That girl saved the master a couple of times. If his desire was to consume it, he would have done it already. Divine Law, I have already pushed my soul to the limit. I don't have time to think if you're going to betray us. I just hope you know that beasts are forms of energy that are reborn. Stop imagining a future that won't happen. You don't need to threaten me because you and him are not going to die. If you're ready, let me do the rest. I will separate part of your soul from your body and mix it with part of mine. In this way I preserve my soul, but quite worn out. No need, I'll take care of everything. You don't need to spend your soul. There must be a connection with the master's soul. I am inside it. That's why I'm the perfect connection. Even if my soul is worn out, it will be restored in time. And most importantly, I will do my best to take the master to the last star path. The most correct thing would be for him to go through all the paths on his own, but we don't have time, and I'm not going to risk Daruma's life once again. If that is the case, I am at your disposal. Rip out part of my soul right now. An X-arm emerged from Goku's sleeping body. It was Saru, who had touched Shi's head, and upon contact with her, was drawing power from her soul. That process was too painful, so she screams echoed in that dimension. Damn, this pain is going to drive me crazy, but I'm willing to endure anything for his well-being. Does this happen when they consume your soul? I am an abomination. All this agony was caused to thousands of living beings. Resist a little longer. I'm about to finish combining a part of my soul with yours. That place lit up with a purple glow and that glow disappeared when Saru stopped playing like that, which had fallen fainting on the floor. She was very exhausted, but her life is not in any danger, I am surprised by how formidable her soul is. Now it's my turn, I'm coming for you master. Saru entered the star paths, arriving where Goku was lying together with Ian. I understand, your opponent was her, that's why you lost, your star paths are very powerful, much more than Getsuka's. For a moment I thought you were too weak, that you were a mere shadow of your father, but I couldn't have been more wrong. Getsuga doesn't compare to you. I'm sorry to come to ruin the moment, but you, a simple imitation, have taken my master to eternal sleep. I'm sure you didn't defeat him with your powers, but rather you played with his brain, taking advantage of the fact that you were important to him. I'd have news for you. My master is not alone. Whoever messes with him can prepare to receive all my wrath. You are that miserable giant gorilla inside him. You shouldn't be able to be here. Your master has fallen into eternal sleep. You shouldn't even be able to move. My master would never be trapped in eternal sleep, because he has me to save him. You defeated him because you were a weak point. What are you waiting for, woman? Come and defeat this miserable giant gorilla if you dare. Are you making fun of me? It will be a pleasure to finish off that wild animal that protects Goku, Wrath of the Devil. Kaioken increased 50 times. You have come to meet your cursed death, you will also remain asleep forever. Neon, using the great power that belonged to Goku, 
attacked that great Osaru in front of her, quickly hitting almost 100 blows in a few seconds, but she had barely managed to lift that Osaru into the air a little. It's a joke? That damn monkey doesn't feel pain or what's going on here? I feel heavy, as if he were far superior to me and his mere presence crushed me. Demon's Wrath with the Kaoken is one of the Master's strongest techniques, but you forgot one small detail. The reason why Daruma resists all that great power is because I am his shield. <laughs> the King of Beasts, Aru, would never lose to a brat who barely knows how to punch. Don't underestimate me, you damn beast. A gigantic ball of ki formed in the palm of Min's hand, throwing it mercilessly at his enemy. A chilling roar stunned that place, and the great power of Min disappeared without a trace. Min began to tremble, his body no longer able to move. How can such power exist? My attack that I launched with all my power disappeared, just by raising his key. I will confess to you the truth of why you defeated the master, and believed that you were the queen of this dimension with such a low level of power. Only pity, you caused him so much pity, that on his own he submitted to eternal sleep. If you kill me, Goku will never forgive you. After all, I am his beloved Nin, and you are his spirit beast. You are there to obey what he orders you. You don't even understand the greatness of the master. He has never seen me as a beast or a weapon. For him I am his partner, that's why I would give my life for his. Makosa, you are thousands of years away from deceiving me with words. Get out of my sight. Saru, despite being huge, moved with surprising speed and with a single blow, he would defeat me. After that, his body would be seen to fade away and the barrier of that star path would also open a path. Saru looked at Goku and said, I can't wake you up yet, since you are powerful, your enemies will not fight fairly with you, they will attack the most vulnerable thing you have and that is your brain, leave it to my master. Saru took Goku's body with his fingers and laid it on his shoulder, while he began to walk along the path that had been formed to reach the next barrier. With each footstep, that place trembled, the presence of that being overshadowed all existing power, since that was Saru's true power, the one he had before they were only spiritual beasts and when they were the ones who dominated the multiverses. The power I have within the Daruma star packs is similar to my original power. I don't like having so much strength because it reminds me of the past me, the one who crushed entire planets and no one could stop. Goku's family was waging a rather difficult battle against General Heavy, who had great physical strength and a blessing that greatly limited the movements of everyone who was close to him. Their capabilities are indeed impressive, they are able to move quickly even with so much pressure on their bodies, but even with the nine of you attacking at the same time, they have barely caused me a little damage, the force of gravity of the room created by Kana, it's a joke compared to what this guy is throwing at us. Goku had told us that he will prevent us from using resonance to increase our powers on our own, but that divine law is on another level, if we want to preserve our lives, we have to use the resonance. Yakina and Akame touched Yu's back, making the resonance on their own, forming the demon Saru, Yu Yagami, which released Anki at the level of a higher ranking divine law. Did you see that brother? Now it is you who will be in charge of leading the resonance, and the power they give off is much greater than that generated by Akami. If we do the same so that you lead the resonance, it could work. The experience you have in combat does not compare to that of your daughter. We can't do that to Kuma. Yu is not stupid, they should have trained to know who generated more power. But if we do that, I'm not sure if I'm able to generate more power than Nin. it would be too big a bet, and if I fail, what will we do so exhausted, that the gravity of this damn thing will end up killing us? What's wrong with you dad? For the first time maybe you are doubting your abilities, the resonance would be stronger if you are in the lead. At that instant, a fierce battle began, and one held back at all. At the time of attacking Heavy, he received a powerful blow that made his head shake. Since the last war, where he had lost five lives, no one had hurt him this much. The drastic increase in powers of those boys had caught him off guard. You impertinent brat, you have given me a strong headache, I will cause you bone pain, divine blessing supreme gravity. And even more terrifying pressure had suddenly fallen on all of them. This time their bodies felt at least 50 times heavier than the first pressure exerted on them. The increased gravity was close to reaching a million and that was too much weight for everyone. Yu, for his part, remained calm, and with that cold look that characterized him so much, the others who had not yet used the resonance were having a hard time staying calm, 
since their breathing was also being cut off. You are the first person who does not belong to one of the great sects to have endured this great pressure. As a sign of respect, you will be the first to be released. You will die first than all your companions. Evie moved slowly. He stretched out his palm to put it in front of Yu's face and following that, he began to take out a large glowing ball, which could be felt to be too powerful. And after that, it was a matter of seconds before a heavy blow hit General Heavy's stomach and made him retreat a few meters back. You're a bastard. You pretended not to be able to move to attack me once again with my guard down. I have not pretended anything, Divine Law. His ego and greatness is what makes all the members of his sect fail. They think they are better than anyone, which is why they tend to underestimate their enemies. This gravity has increased a million times, it is undoubtedly crazy, I alone would not be able to withstand it, but when three Osiris demons unite their powers, we can surpass the limits of divine understanding. Some brat is giving me lessons. You speak as if the battle is assured. With my great power I will make all hope null and void for you. A powerful kick slammed into Yu's head, and a key sword severed both of his arms in less than a second. Shiro prepared to carry out the resonance with him controlling everything, and Yu, Makina and Amaterasu made their fusion. The key of those two warriors aroused the tension of Heavy, who was first surprised by the great power of that young man, and now beings that were trash had reached a much superior strength. What could be that strange ability to unite their powers? The sum of the power of the nine of them should not reach that far, but out of nowhere they formed three subjects with the power of a mid-range divine law. They are the first creatures I know capable of achieving that great feat. Heavy reacted in time to stop Shiro's arm, which with the tips of his fingers was going to pierce his heart. Using Shiro's body, he threw it with the necessary momentum so that it collided with Yuma who was approaching quickly. Down, up, behind, no matter where they come from, as long as my gravity crushes them I can see their slow movements. A mouthful of blood came out of his mouth, but what vain words. You forgot about me damn. You must have smashed my head. Arrogant brat. Rain of swords. Countless swords appeared in the sky. You would use the demon eye to learn that technique in a matter of seconds. Heavy launched his massive attack. And you at the same time would launch his. That brat used the same power as you. How could he copy a skill from a divine law? It takes a lot of key to execute my techniques. Explosions and shockwaves were destroying the Senosama multiverse. Most of the planets had already been erased. The inhabitants of the entire kingdom did nothing but tremble. They knew that beings of Hiroegami's level were beyond his understanding, and those so-called divine laws were much more terrifying than him. You have incredible ability, but in front of a general, that is not enough. Those words were heard from Yu's back, even Yu himself was surprised by the speed with which that guy had positioned himself behind him. You ask me to tear off your head. A kick that radiated dark rays. He almost smelled Yu's head, but a gigantic crimson arm protected him, and another purple arm sent Heavy flying. They were Akame and Yakina's spirit beasts. The crimson arm was shaking after receiving the impact of that kick. Even Akame's beast was affected by that simple blow, if it had hit me I wouldn't be breathing. Yuma took advantage of the fact that Heavy was confused by the recent attack. And with his sword, he hit a thousand cuts on his back, but even with his fusion strength, he had barely cut his skin a little. He is the one who dares to hurt my body because I will never forgive him in my life. Yuma's throat began to be strangled by a dark arm in the form of Ki. Shiro would cut that arm with a beam of energy that came from his mouth and would begin to launch many energy spheres. Heavy would soon form an energy field. Shiro's attacks collided without achieving anything. But his plans were not to kill his opponent. He knew his limits better than anyone. He was just making time so that if Goku was alive, he would get to fight. Heavy, a little disappointed in the powers of his adversaries, shouted, but why do they resist if they know they won't be able to beat me? As a divine law I have seven lives, now I am on the fifth. Even if they finish me, my penultimate life would crush them Yuma approached Shiro and mentioned. Why does Shiro-san attack him like that? Is he just wearing down his powers? At this moment Yu is using that amazing Kaioken raised to 100 times and even then he can't do anything against him. The best I can do is distract him with everything I have. If a Kaioken increased to 100 times is not effective, I will push my body to the limit. We who have the power of the Uru cannot lose. Kaioken increased 150 times, a fierce aura came out of Yu's body, 
and his body seemed to be in Karma Sea Flames. Heavy he felt like his energy field had received an attack, which he had almost destroyed that protection. That much power? Who dares? Heavy looked at you releasing those Karma Sea Flames. So you still haven't reached your limit. Very well, Moko Asato, I will play with you until the last drop of your power disappears. In a couple of seconds, the energy field that protected him shattered, and a punch that would shake Heavy's head sent him flying thousands of meters back, until he crashed hard into a star, where an explosion was also seen that it shook the few planets that remained in that multiverse. Heavy barely recovered from those two surprising attacks, when many more blows crashed into his body like rain. What's wrong with this damn brat? Is my gravity having no effect on him? Or is his power so high to still have that power and speed? Even with that pressure on his body, you felt like his demon regeneration was barely able to repair his bones that were being affected by pushing his power beyond the limit. I can't stop now, if I do I will pay the price for using so much power. I must end this divine law quickly. Come on you, eliminate that guy. If you can't kill him, we're lost. You must do it you, as he revives with his penultimate life. We can escape with my new dimension change. Heavy managed to get out of Yu's aggressive attack, nimbly piercing him with his fist. That fist was cut off, but the hole in Yu's chest was taking a while to close because the healing was at its limit. It has seriously damaged me, the subjects outside the large sects are also very dangerous. I'm about to exhaust the power of resonance. This power is causing the duration of the soulbind to be minimal. This will be my last attack, increases to 270 times. Crimson Light, give me maximum power. Yu's ki had risen higher and a gigantic ball of energy appeared on his arm. Receive this wretch, destroyer of multiversal atoms. Yu's supreme and final attack fully impacted the body of a divine law, beginning to be turned into ashes. Yu's breathing was very fast and his vision was blurry, he was about to fall unconscious. Shiro took advantage of the fact that gravity disappeared the moment Heavy perished and flashily escaped from that place with a change of dimension taken Yui and Yuma with him. However, they were still in the same multiverse and it would not be so easy to escape from such a powerful subject. A glow illuminated the outer space. Heavy had revived and his power was stronger than ever. I have lost one more life before the war. These insects think they can offend a general and run away as if nothing had happened. Blood contract. Heavy bit one of his fingers and a few drops of blood shot into the empty space. He quickly began to follow that blood. This game isn't over yet Brett. I'll make you suffer for taking my fifth life. Lou felt like his body was burning, and he was upset and shouted, That scoundrel is very cunning. He left blood inside my body when he impaled me with his arm, and he's using it to find out where we are. Lou opened his chest with his fingers and began to bleed out. The blood that belonged to Heavy had come out, but it was too late. A much stronger pressure than before subdued them again. This time the weakened demon Saru was unable to do anything. <laughs> In addition to having the strength to kill a divine law, you are one of those geniuses that I hate the most. You quickly became aware of the presence of my blood within you. If you had taken a little longer to get it out, you would have become my slave. As exhausted as he was, and knowing that he couldn't win, you began to mock heavy, believe me divine law, for your sect to give me orders. They need to kill me and revive me like Akami did in his time. I admit that you have won, but before I die, I will make you feel how terrifying Yu Yagami can be. You have one foot in the grave, Mokoso. Stop being so arrogant, you never had a chance to win this illogical fight. A divine law remains a divine law and an inferior being remains inferior. What do you think about that? Then, he receives the last attack of this inferior being, Power Prison. A ball of key slowly went straight to Heavy, who sneered as he watched that power slowly approach. Is this your definitive technique? You should be ashamed to be so talkative. The power prison faded away. Surprised Heavy shouted. You see it? You are a joke. Your weak attack couldn't even reach me, it lost to the pressure of my gravity. Heavy did not notice that Yu's purple eyes were shining, in reality the power prison was not slow and had not disappeared by chance, out of nowhere. Something invisible collided with heavy and many purple rays surrounded his body, he could feel how his power was getting smaller. Unhappy Guzono, you are trash who uses mediocre tricks to fight, those trash tricks have imprisoned a part of your powers. 
In the end, you have lost Divine Law with my death. You will never be able to regain your power again. Shiru and Yuma were surprised. Even with his power so spent, Yu had subdued a being much stronger than him. He used his purple eyes to turn his power prison invisible. That guy thought he disappeared, but an invisible attack was going straight to him. Now that guy only has two paths, kill Yu and forget about his sealed power, or spare his wife, to convince him to release his power. But Yu would never do that, he would gladly accept death. Heavy trembling thought, he's got me, I can kill them all without any problem, but that pathetic attack sealed away half of my power. I need my power back, you brat bastard, you've really given me a lot of trouble. For his part, in the star paths, Saru had reached the next barrier and his opponent was Yakina. Young mistress, out of respect for your father, I will exterminate you quickly. What a surprise. Zaru, my spirit beast is threatening me. In short, can we know what you are doing here? I have unfinished business with the guy you're carrying on your shoulder. Would you do me the favor of leaving him in my care? He has already fallen into eternal sleep. No matter how much a protective beast you think you are, you won't be able to save him. Unless you exchange your soul for his. Let's face it. My father does not have the power to go through all the star paths. He would only be sacrificing you for something that is not worth it. If it were not for the fact that I am aware that you are a simple mass of energy, I would be so disappointed in you, but even you have been created in this inner dimension. You know that all of that is a lie, and deep in your heart you are afraid of the person who is asleep on my shoulder. I bet my life that just like your mother, you were thinking of taking advantage of how much Daruma loves you to defeat him by playing with his mind. Your pathetic plan has gone to waste because your opponent will be me. Grit those teeth and prepare to take a beating. Fight like a warrior with Osaru blood. Yukina began to float and stood right at the height of Saro's head, and with an ironic smile she shouted, You swore to my father that you would always protect me no matter what. Come on Saru. I bet you don't dare to give not a single blow to the face. Confident that Saru would not do anything to her, she completely lowered her defense, leaving her face exposed, while her smile remained on her beautiful face. Should I repeat it to you, young mistress? <laughs> you are too immature. Saru's giant, heavy fist destroyed that fake Hukina. Despite having the great power of 28 stars, that had been no challenge for Saru, who calmly continued walking along the new path that had been cleared before him. What it took a prodigy warrior to pass each path, and even with the question if he could really pass, Saru was doing it 100 times faster and with the certainty that no matter who crossed his path, they would not be able to defeat him. It's true power. In just one year, Saru crossed and completed almost all the star paths, defeating Kame, Yu in a much weaker version of himself. Now he only needed to complete the last path, and open the final door to reach the maximum Akari power. Finally I reached the last path master. What there is after defeating the last enemy, is something that only you must obtain. That is why I cannot do it for you. The rest depends on you. Defeat your inner self and rise to the top of all. I'll wait for you out there Amu, to make Getsuga's army tremble, soul transfer. The giant body of that beast fell and caused a strong tremor. His soul entered Goku at high speed, as his power rose to the peak. He already had the strength of 42 stars of ki added to a rare power that he did not know what it was, by consuming part of his beast soul and chi, he had awakened a new power that he was currently unaware of, so he did not know. I can be asleep in eternal sleep. I thank you Saru, chi, you have reminded me of the true reason for my life, to protect my family and clean up the multiverse and the trash.